All right, well, you pretty much uh, went over everything that you needed to do to be a full-fledged advanced WordPress user. Now you know pretty much everything inside and out, where everything goes and where everything belongs. But I figured I would uh, let you know about a couple other things that m not many people know that WordPress actually has built into it, and sometimes will either use a plugin to use or didn't really know that it was a really nifty shortcut and things like that. So I thought I would go over some of those with you. There's always a lot more than that, and there's sometimes even things that are undocumented inside of WordPress that are little hidden features that are available to you. So we'll go over some of the ones that are a little bit more neat, and some are a little bit more obvious, and some of them are not. Um, first thing I'm going to go over is in the tools section. It's called um, it's some of these simple tools, and one of these is the gears. Uh, what gears is is basically it's uh, something that Google used that allowed people to speed up their websites. Basically, if you installed gears into your browser on onto your site, it'll make your site for you go very very fast, and that'll really speed up things such as posting and stuff like that. So what you can do is you can enable gears. The next thing it is, uh, there's a really nifty tool to use. is called Press This. It's a bookmarklet, and what it does is that if you're if you have Press This enabled. Uh, on your bookmark section and you're on a site and you can highlight a piece of text what it'll do is it'll automatically take you to your add new post section with that with the title of the page in there and the content on the page automatically in your post so no need to copy and paste or download or anything like that if you find something worth noting that you want to put on your blog you simply highlight the text in the on the website that you're on click the press list bookmarklet and it will automatically go to your blog for you. It makes uh, posting n news and things like that much much faster and much easier to use. Okay another thing that WordPress does that a lot of people actually don't know about and or use plugins to do is that it will automatically embed all it'll attempt to embed anyway all automatic uh, all plain text URLs so for example if I wanted to post let's say a YouTube video into my site I can click on add new post and I wanted to put a video on here well a lot of times people will use a plugin to put um, a YouTube video in there and I have a fun little one here that I wanted to post on my site because I thought it'd be really neat and so what I'll do is I'll just put the plain text in there and I'll hit published and then if I view my post it automatically embeds it for me no need to put in embed code no need to switch over editors no need to do anything like that I put the URL in and it'll automatically do it for me so that's a, a neat little feature that not a lot of people really know about and don't really utilize as a result. So that's something that you can really use that'll be really good for you. Another great feature is the gallery feature. A lot of people don't know this, but WordPress actually will make a gallery for you. Um, a lot of people will use plugins to do this and other things like that, but it can make video and audio and uh, I'm sorry, video and photo galleries automatically for you. Over here under the media library, there's this little thing called attach to, and a lot of people say, well, I don't know really what that means, and, and I guess after I put it in my uh, put it in my post, it becomes attached to that, so it's an attachment, and so that's pretty much where they leave it. But if you attach this, let's say to a post that we have, let's say let's search for one, let's say sample video, and I wanted to select that, and that's going to attach this for me. Now if I actually go to the post, sample video, and I enter a short code, and a short code is basically a special code that allows WordPress to convert things automatically for you, and it's called gallery, and it's built into WordPress automatically. This will convert all of my pages, or I'm sorry, all of my pictures and I images that I have put and attached to this post into a special gallery for me. And so I hit update. And suddenly this appears here. This this wide frame with a photo on it and a camera. Now, if you want to, you can click this and it says edit gallery. And then this gallery link shows up. You can edit the order that your images are in. 
uh, what if they're thumbnails or not, and different items such as that. If you have multiple images, you can show how many columns that they're in. You can do a wide variety of things with the gallery, and not many people know that that even exists within WordPress. A lot of people will use plugins to do it and things along those lines. So that's actually built into WordPress for you to use immediately. Another interesting feature that's more of a shortcut than anything else that a lot of people really don't know about, or at least don't utilize even if they do know about it, is the fact that you can use keyboard shortcuts just like you do in your, your actual text editors in real life. So let's say if I wanted to bold something, I can highlight it and hit Control plus B and I can bold my text. Um, if you wanted to find out what each things are, um, if you hover over it, you can hit uh, the sh keyboard shortcut that's displayed right there. So, if you wanted to add different things, you can use keyboard shortcuts instead of having to stop what you're doing and then go up and select the appropriate thing. This is actually a very useful shortcut if you use a lot of rich text formatting inside of your posts. One last thing that I wanted to show that was uh, kind of a neat little feature that not everybody knew about was that you didn't have to always go into your um, database sometimes if you wanted to pull certain things out of it. Uh, a lot of times you can find some hidden things in there or stuff that plugins have left behind that may sometimes be a security vulnerability or something like that, such as Amazon S3 secret keys and stuff like that, that if you've uninstalled the plugin, it still leaves behind. So one thing you can do is up in your URL, I'll go ahead and I'll drag this down for you. If up here, if you want to, you click, you type in options.php, which is not actually able to be accessed by any sort of uh, link inside of WordPress. You actually have to type that in manually. Click on it. It'll bring up your entire options table for you. It'll show you all the different options that you have in here that may have been left behind by either WordPress or maybe by even a plugin. And a lot of plugins will use this option table to store its information. So you can sometimes find some different info in here that you may want to clean out or something like that that might not be something you want to either leave in there or something along those lines. So it's just a little quirky back end thing that you're not always going to use but sometimes it can come in real handy for you. And that's pretty much it for the small tips for now. There's always a ton more that are out there and uh, if I ever find any more I'll be sure to be able to post for future videos about it. So. All right, thank you very much. This pretty much does it for all the videos, and if you have any questions or something, don't forget to email me or, or contact me. So thank you very much.